What's up, Beyonce for the intro? What up, what up, what up? If you guys can't tell, this is a hotel room. We're actually in Surfside, South Carolina, just outside of Myrtle Beach. In the hotel room, we got uh, my laptop's here prepping music, or just really going over it, I've already prepped it. For today's wedding, I just got in last night here, and we're doing a wedding today for Danielle and David. Smaller wedding here at a beach house. I'm excited, it's a Thursday. I gotta turn around and make the trek tomorrow morning back to Greensboro, North Carolina. It's about a four hour drive to do a wedding on Saturday up there for a couple as well. So, check it out. Got a beautiful view of the beach from the hotel room. Looks like the waves are turning pretty well today. Um, their house is somewhere down there. So yeah, they have a beach house somewhere down there. We're about to leave here in a few minutes as soon as I kind of, I'm basically going through, uh, I do this before every wedding. I do all the music prep like one to two days before normally. So I already got all the music downloaded and now I'm just kind of sitting down looking through all of the planning forms again. My my planning form, looking through the timeline I created, looking through the timeline that a coordinator might have created. Um, just some tips here around weddings. That sun is super bright. But yeah, I can look through all of the emails that I've sent back and forth with the couple. I look at my notes from the original consultation. I look at my notes from our uh, final planning meeting. I look at our text message chains back and forth. I look for basically all those little details to make sure I don't look over anything. So a little pro tip for you guys, for your guys' wedding, make sure you set aside time the morning of the wedding or the night before. Um, it's up to your preference. I like the morning of so it's fresh in my mind to look through all of the last little bits of details. Look over your proposal you sent them, look over the invoice, crossed your T's and dotted your I's and made sure that you got all of your planning ready to go and that you are completely in the zone and locked in for that wedding. And of course, gotta give a little plug here. Um, we use uh, Vibo DJs on our back end. Um, this is a planning form software that you guys can use. I've made videos on this in the past. I need to make some more updated videos to go over all of the details behind it. You can actually get all of the planning forms that I use. If you join Vibo, it's actually one of the templates. If you go to templates and you go to public templates, you will see uh, Rachel's on here and you'll see mine right there. Apparently mine is one of the most popular ones on here, but you can literally use the exact same templates that I do. But Vibo's dope. Vibo has a an application that they can download on their phone. They can go through, do their plannings. It's got iMusic or with Apple Music. They got Apple Music, Spotify, and YouTube integration so that they can put in all of their sources on there. There's a prep mode feature that it'll scan your library and it'll go through the playlist that they've created and match up those songs. Basically be like, you got all of these songs, you don't have these songs, these are the ones you need to download. And when you need to download them, they give you links to where all you can get them. They give you the YouTube link, the Spotify link they give you the iMusic link they give you the iTunes link Amazon music link like it makes prep so freaking easy I can prep about like 150 like say the couple has 150 to 200 songs for their wedding that they picked out for all the different areas I can go through literally and prep that in less than an hour and it's sick you literally just go in and you download those uh, crates those playlists so you download your dinner your open dancing etc you download them and then you can import them into whatever software you're using. You can import them in the virtual DJ. iTunes, I use iTunes personally. You can download them into Spotify. You can actually export them to a Spotify list if you just want to play the cocktail music off your phone. You can do that really simply. And it works with Serato, of course, Tractor, Virtual DJ, all of them. Little plug, Vibo DJs. I'll leave a link down in the description down below. You guys should check it out. It's really, really dope and it sets you apart from your competition. Check it out. Check it out. This is pretty awesome. Cool design. Got the twinkle lights on the side. And wedding, of course, is down at the beach. So uh, the driveway is the dance floor. Setting up there, that trailer's gonna move where my truck is. And food truck's coming later. I'm gonna set up a tripod though, so you guys can watch me unload all of my simple stuff that I fit in the truck. Literally, my whole rig fit in the truck. The only thing I got up here is the rock and roller in my bag, so. Really compact, we're using the Bose L Pro 16s today, because they're the most compact, loud sound system that we own. Apparently my GoPro SD card is full, so um, I don't know how to film and show you guys at the same time because I am a solo today. So I'm gonna put the tri I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and uh, show you guys my new Pro X table. Um, this is the Bro Pro X. Basically, it's it's like a case and it folds out into a table. And this in combination with the flight case is my new like mobile portable setup. Now that flight case is actually the SZ flight case and inside of it is a Rev7 because uh, I haven't been able to secure a Rev7 case yet. Still working on it. But anyways, we're gonna set the table. Let's 
show you guys more when we get back, but Bose, Pro X table, Bose, that's pretty much it. And then due to the rules on the beach, we can't set up the ceremony until like literally right before it starts. So up here, tucked, I have all of the ceremony stuff to go out onto the beach. I got the rack, I got an extra mic because we have speeches, the LD, the mixer, the table, the jackery, all set and ready to go. Check it out. The beach. All right, we're all back, ready to go, all changed up, ready for the wedding. I'm um, gonna go set up the ceremony, wanted to just tell a little fun story. So, the, the groom, David, he texted me, the cops showed up because they're like, this is a, an event going on, and they wanted a business, and a proof of basically your business license um, to operate. Because it is bike week, they're not trying to promote parties and have these random get-togethers and stuff like that. But this is a wedding, it's a little different. And of course, I just, thankfully I got all my documents on, on a drive, so I just screenshot a couple documents and sent them to him and he showed the cops and we're all good to go. But first time ever been being asked by the police if I have a business license, which we do. So we're gonna go set the ceremony though at the beach. So here's the Rev 7 in all its glory in the direct sunlight. I'm probably gonna be in the sunlight the whole entire day. It is like overcast to some degree and there's a nice breeze blowing, which is nice. And I got my nice fan. You guys remember, number one tip, bring a fan. You can't see it, but loading up Surat on here will turn it into day mode and be ready to go here very shortly. I'm basically getting this set, and then I'm gonna go start playing music down there at the ceremony, which I've already set up, and I brought along the tripod so that we can set it up, and you guys can see what all goes down at a beach wedding. It's pretty much the same thing, except it's all battery powered, of course. So this is my ceremony setup. If you can't tell by the wind, it's like too windy to put a scrim on this. I don't like the look of all the stuff underneath it, but it's not gonna be in pictures. We got the ceremony rack, Audio Technica 3000 4th gens. We got an additional handheld for a poem reading. Run the HP Spectra 14 inch. Hey, uh, Windows gang, HP Spectras don't overheat in the sun at all. Yamaha MG06, LD Systems Maui 5 Go, Daiquiri battery. all broke down now to the reception so slight issue with the rev 7 so far um my left deck is like skipping which is great i have my right deck it works right now and the screens have turned off heat maybe we can say heat that's all i got but uh, there's nothing on that screen updates uh coming soon rev 7 though is not doing so hot in the heat that's why the fan is blowing directly on it oh it's hot but i took a break for a second um, and uh, use the Rev 7's instant uh, scratch pad if you didn't know. The Rev 7 has this cool instant scratch pad here where you, there's actually pad number four is just a beat. So you, it's a save your butt thing in a way. But uh, I basically, I restarted Serato and by restarting Serato, I was able to finally get my uh, BPM and everything back on the screen. So it seems to be an issue that it was with Serato and the connectivity between the Rev7 and that. Because I noticed when I went to Instant Scratch, I could see everything on the screens, but I couldn't see any of the BPM stuff. It's already been hard to see in the sunlight here, but everything's working like normal. But uh, fans still going on it because um, it is hot. I haven't really shown this table yet, but what cool part is there's a shelf underneath here and you could tuck all your bags and hide it and get a clean impression from the front. Check it out. Now this obviously is my SZ case retrofitted for the Rev7. The idea is to do the same thing I did with Ralph's 1000 case and make us a complete one with no ports on the back, nice and clean, it'll be smaller, it'll look good, it'll have the laptop stand, be clean. But um, me personally, this is my like favorite sort of compact setup. It's super compact. And the nice part of having your controller in a flight case is you can put it on whatever table you want. You can go to any event and just use it as a controller inside of a flight case, which is nice. You don't have to always use this table, but it gives that nice clean T-top look in a very portable and very useful way. Coming over here to one, get into the shade, and two, talk about what all's going down here for Danielle and David's wedding today. Well, Dave, he goes by Dave. Danielle and Dave's wedding today. I'm playing background cocktail music right now. We have a food truck over here that's doing the food. If I didn't mention, it's only about 30 people here, so nothing crazy. They're getting their appetizers from the food truck right now. We'll do dinner. Um, we have no introductions. It's just gonna be a small amount. 
uh, people here, so no big air reductions. And uh, we're only partying to about 9.30 and they're going to the after party. So, one cool part, David actually, David, I, I keep saying David, I need to just go with Dave because that's what he goes by. Dave found me on uh, YouTube. He actually dabbles in DJing and he's been watching a lot of my stuff and he found out that like, He's kind of going to be getting married around where I'm at. It's only four hours away. And uh, yeah, we worked it out. It's pretty dope. We're here on a Thursday, partying it up. What's the point of this old guitar? If it ain't got no strength. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is how it's done. Whether it's 750 students at a high school prom or 20, 10, 30 people here at this wedding, you always gotta give 100% effort. This was a blast, we had fun, I had fun. I just enjoy getting the chance to mix and especially getting to come out here to the beach on a Thursday. We're gonna go back, we're gonna DJ again on Saturday night. Living the dream, man. I, the best decision I ever made was going full time. Uh, it, 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 I, it's so new to me that I can already say it. It's, this is awesome, this is my job, this is my life. Um, it's sick. 
especially shout out to Danielle especially shout out to Dave because he's he's a fan of the channel shout out for you guys for bringing me out here and partying and having a great time this was a blast anyways I gotta break this down I gotta get someone to get me to go get my truck because we parked down the road so I gotta get whoever's got a golf cart and um it's biker week so you got motorcycles flying up and down there loud as hell but anyways I'm gonna break this down Darn it, I forgot to show packing the truck up. But as you can see, very humid out here. Still like 80 something degrees outside. Tons of humidity, but um, I'm all packed up. I am pooped, it's been a long day. So uh, I'll see you guys on Saturday with the next one. It'll be fun. Anyways, peace out, keep the record spinning. Uh, follow your dreams, cause uh, it is attainable. Anyways guys, peace out, love you guys. Thanks for all the support as always. Uh, keep the record spinning though guys. Keep them record spinning and you can do it. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe.